Good day, everybody. Um, here is a walkthrough video of my current build. This is for Cody 17.1. Um, this is a video that is both for potential new customers and for my existing customers, so that you can see some of the changes that I have put into the build. So we'll go ahead and start off here with the movie section. When you uh, load the build, this is where it's going to come up. And the first thing you'll notice is, is that I only got, got uh, one widget now instead of two. Um, one of the things that I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the build to perform um, a lot faster, a lot better. I think that uh, with some of the older builds, uh, they were kind of heavy, even though I thought that they were running fairly quick. Um, wasn't until I had some experiences uh, with some of you that uh, I realized that I, I needed to trim it down a little bit. And the widgets do take a toll on the uh, CPU usage of the of the of the of the uh, sticks and the boxes. But um, as you can see, I've got one widget, and I'll go ahead and click here so I can activate. And it's going to be based on uh, the Zen new movies. So pretty much new movies are what's going to pop up. And as you can see now, when you highlight them, you will get a little description on the very top of the movie. You'll get some details, time, uh, small description of what the movie's about, and so forth and so on. And as always, you can just keep scrolling to the right and there are lots and lots and lots of movies until you get to the very end. Um, where it'll say next page. See, there's more movies. And there we go. So when you get to the very end, this little Zen box here, if you click that, then it'll go off the widget page and then it'll just give you a list form. And you can continue to see more movies. Um, the timeout on the movies, I've set it for 15 seconds. So you know, we'll just try this one here, The Minions. It's kind of an older movie, but that's okay. I've also put the display uh, in the background so it doesn't do all that stuff that it used to do up in the foreground. Even though it's a 0%, it's, it's doing stuff in the back, the, the, the usual stuff going out, looking for streams, finding the better ones. Uh, and as you can see, it's already moved over. That, that process should take no more than 15 seconds. And as you can see, it found a 1080p stream. And it'll start to play momentarily. So from start to finish, probably like, you know, 30, 45 seconds. Once the movie starts playing, you enjoy it. So fast forward a little bit. And if you hit the eye here, it shows you it's a 1080p stream. We'll go ahead and shut that down because we don't want to get in trouble. And then here on the bottom wheel, you have all the other movie add-ons. And here is the movie search. So the movie search is still, I think, based on Zen. Um, I'll go ahead and put in just, let's say, Batman. And all the different Batman movies uh, will come up. And so if we just pick, uh, say we pick that one, it's an older one, I think. Same thing, 15 seconds or so. Sometimes. And we'll go ahead and fast forward a little bit. I can respect your opinion. Sadly, I'm not going to. There you go. So that's the movie search. And then of course you've got Exodus. I just added Genesis. There's Maverick, M4U. M4U used to be the top widget. Those, this particular add-on is nice because it's a one click. So when you find a movie, um, it'll, it, the other ones that I just showed you are not one click, but they appear to be one click because I've got it uh, on autoplay. This one here truly is just one click. I don't have to do anything for it. And there's Pyramid, Specto, Zen, 1080p is all 1080p movies, and Bose Pick is a new one that I added also. But all of these add-ons will get you movies. Um, I, I didn't see the need to have two widgets, and so um, 
uh, I reduced it just to the one. The TV shows is the next uh, section, and it works exactly the same way as the movie section. You come to the top, and as you scroll through the different TV shows, you get the little description on the top. The only difference with um, TV shows, of course, is, is that they're, they can't really be one click. So if I select this particular one, you got to pick the season you want. So if you say pick season five, and then you pick whatever episode you want, then at that point, it will start to go out and find the scrapers. Uh, excuse me, find the, the scrapers go out and find the streams. And it's the same process. It's set for 15 seconds. And after 15 seconds, it'll take the streams. And I've noticed that, I mean, with very rare each stream available, it's going to find it within 15 seconds. And there you go. Now, here at the bottom, again, just like in the movie section, I've got uh, more TV <clears throat> um, add-ons, not as many as in the movies, but um, again, it's plenty. If you can't find a particular show using these add-ons, it's probably not available. Or you can give me a, a, a ping over Facebook and I'll find it for you. Uh, but I, I find that these are the most uh, efficient at finding TV shows and movies for that matter. Coming over to the kit section, same thing. One widget, works exactly the same way. Tons and tons of stuff for the kiddos. And if you come to the bottom here, I've, got, I've added a few actually. I added this top spot. Some folks had asked me if there, there was any add-on that just kind of brings up uh, stuff for the smaller kids. And if we click on bows here, you'll see that on the right as the as the fan art comes on for all of these, it's Cartoon is more for the for the little guys, but all all of these are really really good. You got Disney Collection Playbox is excellent. Um, that one when you click it will ask you if you want popular or new, and then again you just go through and it, you can see the fan art on the right hand side. That's a really really nice add on. Okay, moving over to live TV. Uh, the usual suspects are there again. I can't show you the mom drove because that I need to uh, do a separate video and to show you how that works on the, uh, on the uh, Android devices. But the Mondro has thousands of channels, or hundreds of channels. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it's constantly looking for channels to work for, and for streams. So that's a great, great uh, live TV channel resource. Pyramid and C Cloud are also there. Um, you know, as I've mentioned in the past, live TV is hit or miss. Uh, they, they tend to go down quite a bit. The more, more reliable ones uh, are the paid subscription ones. So I, I've recommended Gears TV in the past. I will also now recommend Players Club. They just went pay. Now this add-on here is for the free uh, section. If you want to get their paid, they're a little cheaper than Gears. They're only $5 a month right now. And they are up and running. If we... Um, click right now on the free version, they are still working on getting the server up and running for the free version. This kind of advertisement so that you know what's going on. But once they do bring it back online, <clears throat> you know, time will tell because the problem with, with the free live TV is, is that when a service is really good and you get a lot of people on it, then it starts to slow down, you get buffering, which is why I recommend go the paid route. For five bucks a month, you can't go wrong with Players Club. Gears is 15 bucks a month. The only difference that I can see to the, at this point is that Gears gives you pay-per-view uh, and all the sports packages and Players Club gives you some sports packages like NBA, I think they got MLB now, but I don't think they have pay-per-view at this point in time and I don't know, I've asked them and they haven't responded to me. So that's the live TV section. Um, and again, just one other comment on live TV. The only reason that you would ever want live TV is only really for sports and for like CNN or, or news because anything else that is broadcast will be available right here in this TV show section. And uh, you, don't, uh, you, know, you don't necessarily have to uh, um, you know, watch it live. And whenever you watch it live, you have to deal with the commercials. And when you watch a TV show on Cody, there's no commercials, which is nice. Uh, in the sports section, I've 
got Bob's Phoenix. Uh, I've got the two players clubs for NHL and NBA, which right now are not working. Uh, Pro Sports, UFC, Mavericks, and I have put Sports Devil back into the mix. In fact, I added this one link right here that says Today is Live Sports. That one is based on Sports Devil. And you will see that by time, it will tell you pretty much every live event that is going on. Now these links, some work, some don't work. You know, it's kind of a hit or miss. Like right now, let me see, it's 1230. So in theory, this hockey game should be going on somewhere in the world, but it didn't work. So what, I, what you can do is, and I've, and I've shown this in the past, is if you go to the very top of any menu of any add-on, oops, you get these two little dots, you hit the two little dots, and in Sports Devil, where you want to come is here to Live Sports. Every single one of these works exactly the same way. When you go into them, so if we go into like LS Hunter, for example, you will get all the different categories. If you go into Live, then you will get the kind of list that we just got a second ago. And it's a little bit tedious sometimes. And if you go into these unblocks, by the way, those, those are also categories. I mean, there's just tons and tons of links that you can go through. The, the trouble is sometimes trying to find one that's working. Um, but, you know, you, you, you can try this one. This one, like I said, all of these live links are hit or miss. The, the way to get reliable is to uh, get the... Um, the paid subscriptions. <clears throat> okay, now uh, this is a new section. I added fitness. Uh, I've got two different uh, add-ons for them. Uh, they're nothing more than exercise routines from uh, a lot of these you'll recognize, you know, Billy Banks, 20-minute workout, 10-minute workouts, dance workouts. There is a lot in here. Jillian Michaels. So, that was by popular demand. I went ahead and added that section. And uh, by popular demand, I also added this next section, which is music. And I'm only going to put one add-on unless somebody tells me that they want more. MP3 streams is, is a very good one. You can search by artists, albums, you name it. The only thing I will tell you, and I'll show you really quickly, and let me see if I can just kind of get to a song real fast. If I search for a song... Um, of course, now I'm going to choke, but let me see. Okay, so there's a ton of rock and roll that came up. Uh, I don't know any of these songs. So let me just say Lenny Kravitz. Okay, there goes the song. The, the only reason I wanted to show this is because you got to go to the left panel. So you hit the left clicker. And here is where your controls are, down here at the bottom. So you can go ahead and stop it. Because let me tell you something, I did not know where those controls were. And then, and you exit out and that thing will still keep on playing for you and uh, it'll drive you a little batty. But that's where the control is for the music. MP3 streams, it's a very good, uh, very good music service. Here is the favorites folder. Um, again, uh, this is empty right now, but the way you get stuff in the uh, favorites folder is here. Let me let me pick something out of the kids section. So let's say this. Oops. Let's say this nine cartoons was a something that I wanted to have a quick shortcut to. You would hit that three line button next to the home button on the right hand side to bring this little menu up. You say add to favorites, and then in this folder here, favorites. There it is now. And when you click it, it's just a shortcut. But it does make getting to stuff a lot easier, um, especially for that sports demo. If you find a channel you like or one that's pretty reliable, I would definitely favorite it so that you don't have to uh, you know, do 20 clicks to get to it. Here in the uh, settings section, as I've told you before, it's best to just kind of keep out of it. The only thing that's really of interest is this network speed test. If you've got problems with buffering or with pausing, you want to check your network speed, just click this right here. And as it says, it'll run the speed tester. I'm not going to run it right this second. The other thing that I did was I added the system info widget, which is kind of cool. So if you highlight, it gives you uptime. 
Um, the one that I always like to look at is the CPU. I'm on my Mac right now, so it's only one CPU. It's a very powerful CPU, so it's only running 8%. Um, and then uh, free memory. <coughs> storage so it's just kind of just some geeky information there that's kind of of interest and then the build update so before you used to have to do a bunch of stuff now i just incorporate it right into the menu so you click down here to update build and it doesn't get any, any easier than this there's the two black aces you highlight it you hit enter boom the new build starts to download we'll go ahead and cancel it because we don't need to do that now uh, just remember that when you get to the very end, if you're on a Fire Stick or an Android device, it will tell you to close, and after you close it, it will tell you that you have to force close the app or unplug it. I always suggest just unplug it, but if that's not easy, then to force close, you have to go up to settings. So you hit the home button, go to settings, then you go to applications, then to manage applications, then you find uh, the Kodi app, uh, the MF Man 22 or Kodi, depending on which version you've got. You hit enter and then you hit force close and then you can go ahead and relaunch the application. So I, hopefully this will be very convenient for you. Uh, anytime I send an email to update the build, just come right here, click that and away you go. And then finally exit Kodi. I, I, I can't uh, stress enough that it's always a good idea to hit quit. I know it's very easy to just hit that home button. But when you hit quit, it tidies things up in Kodi, and when you go back in, it cleans itself up uh, very nicely, and uh, it just avoids problems. So there you go. That's the, uh, that's the entire build. If you uh, have any questions or suggestions for additional uh, features, you know, just keep them coming. I, I, I strive to try to keep a very fresh and working build, and uh, I know that uh, a lot of you appreciate that. So thank you for your support. Uh, and just drop me a note on Facebook Messenger if you have any other further questions uh, or comments. Thank you.